Never have I ever gotten a question more than you guys wanting me to talk about microdoses of GLP-1s. It's the future of these meds. I think soon we are going to realize we are grossly over medicating people on these medications and it is what is leading to massive side effects and concerns with these meds like gastroparesis, severe nausea, complete depletion of micronutrients and minerals and leaving people debilitated. It's because we are overdosing people on these meds, y'all. People do not need as much medication as we're giving them, and we can't adjust the dose because there's a set standardized dose. Everyone gets the same regimen. We can't split the pens in half. We can't get a quarter of your medication. It doesn't work. It's what leads to bad outcomes, and it's what leads to people getting sick and ended, ending up talking about things that everyone's talking about on the news with these meds. You know what doesn't happen when you microdose people? All those crazy side effects. So we at Modern Thyroid Clinic in our program have never had a single serious side effect on these meds ever. Um, at this point, we've tailored our dosing so particularly, so precisely, and so conservatively that we hardly have people with nausea. So microdoses are the future of these meds. I like to start people at a quarter to a half of the standard dose and I do not increase them in the same way that standard doses do. Also, people should not be increasing casually every four weeks just because they're told to. If the medication is working for someone, this isn't medical advice, but this is how we approach it, there is no reason to continually increase the dose of this medication. Um, and during those increases, they need to be much more smaller increments, and that alone solves 95% of the bad things you hear online and you still get the benefits of anti-inflammatory, risk reduction for heart attack, stroke, heart disease, um, weight loss, reduction in your risk for diabetes, improved metabolic function. We don't need to be overdosing people on these meds and I don't think we will continue to do that for long.